Hi, this is Pete. Welcome to my channel. Those of you who know my channel might be surprised to see me with a synthesizer that comes with an integrated keyboard. In fact, for reasons of space, I follow the rule not to buy any synth that comes with a keyboard. Because I cannot leave any synth permanently on my little desktop, I must be able to take it to a safe place and quickly take it back to my desktop again when I want to play it. So I actually was a bit afraid of this situation. Namely that the Mini Freak is not mini enough to fit into my cupboard. So let's check this. Yes, still some space left. Okay, a little bit, just a little bit and it's at the end. Now let's close the door. Yes, it works. So, no rule without an exception. And the last exception is already more than three years ago, namely when I bought the Micro Freak. Now it was time for another exception and here we are with the Mini Freak and my little review of this exceptional synthesizer. However, in this case I can shorten my review by a simple formula. If you like the Micro Freak, you will love the Mini Freak. The striking thing is that Atuya provides an upgrade of the Micro Freak that is simply gigantic. You may be tempted to say that you now get six times a Micro Freak in one synth, simply because of the polyphony. But that's not enough. You have to double the number, because each voice now has two oscillators instead of one. By the way, you also have a second LFO. And that's still not enough, because you now get an integrated effects processor. For the Micro Freak, you always had to use external gear for some essential effects. Now you have a processor included and this one is really huge. It comes with three flexible subunits and it's fully integrated into the sound engine. Parameters can be modulated and MIDI controlled. And not to forget you now have a full-fledged external input. In addition the new Freak comes with some upgrade of the classical pitch band modulation wheel section. You now have these two eliminated stripes, which you can use in a rather flexible way. My absolute favorite is the macro mode, where you can control up to four selectable parameters with each stripe. In comparison with the Micro Freak, the overall user interface has been significantly extended. There are more knobs and buttons and also more LEDs. In particular, the sequencer profits from the extended interface. But most importantly, the Mini is still easy to handle. With the genius combination of knobs, the mod matrix and the little display, the user interface is extremely effective. In my opinion, it's an engineering masterpiece to keep such a complex synth that simple to operate. Nevertheless, a manual would be nice and I'm sure that Arturia is working hard to quickly provide a high quality documentation. If you are unsure about the Mini Freak, you can take a look at the hundreds of reviews and tutorials on the Micro Freak. You just have to multiply the features by some large factor and then you can imagine the possibilities of the Mini. In the following demo I try to highlight at least some of the features, which might give you a first impression of the potential. I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, stay healthy and stay tuned.